With summer in place comes all the bugs and insects that you would normally expect in the warm weather months, including butterflies. Unfortunately, the eastern monarch butterfly population is decreasing, and researchers have found out why. Fox 17 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig has more. The eastern monarch butterfly is one of the most beautiful and recognized butterflies in the United States. Perhaps not so well known, it's incredible migration each year that begins in the cooler, higher elevations of central Mexico. Individuals start leaving there around the beginning of March and they head north up to kind of eastern Texas area. And that's where those adults then lay eggs and they actually die. And it's the individuals that emerge from those eggs and develop into adults that then make their way further north into places like Michigan and, and the Midwest and southern Ontario, Canada. Along the way, these butterflies feast on milkweed, but in recent years, that food source has diminished with herbicide applications. Right now, in Michigan and lots of places in the Midwest, most of the corn and soy crops you see are these crops that are tolerant to herbicide. So then what happens is the crops will be sprayed with herbicide to get rid of any weeds, and that has really knocked back the milkweed population. Whether it's insects or humans, we all need food to survive. But to a greater effect, researchers say global warming and climate change may be decreasing these beautiful monarchs. So when temperatures are well above normal, or in the spring, if they're much colder than normal, we tend to expect smaller monarch populations. Similarly, monarchs also like wetter periods, which relate back to their food source. When there's a lot more precipitation, those milkweed plants tend to grow bigger. They're providing a lot more resources and food for those small caterpillars. If it's very dry, milkweed plants don't do quite as well. Take a look at the average temperature trend map from 1896 to 2020. It has indeed been getting warmer. The colors in the Midwest and Great Lakes, prime locations for eastern monarchs have been increasing, conditions that foster less of a monarch population. The only good news, the precipitation trend from the same time period has been increasing in these areas, conducive to better milkweed production and ultimately food. Researchers actually estimate the decline in the monarch population by comparing one year to the next and how much land they cover. So if you look back to the mid-1990s to now, there's been up to an 80% decline in monarchs. Most of that decline occurred between the mid-1990s and the early 2000s. And while the population may be impacted by climate change and getting smaller, at least we're not talking about an extinction of the species. Right now, we're actually expanding on this work and we're actually taking projections of what climate will look like in Texas and in the Midwestern breeding grounds to predict what that means for monarchs. And I think that's a really important next step. If the climate changes in the way that these models predict, could that put them at risk of extinction? For now, these monarchs will continue their life cycle and repeat each year with an average lifespan of only a month or two and the latest generation able to live as long as eight months. A span that is indeed relatively short, but a population that is gradually being made shorter by climate change. I'm Fox 17 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig. It is 8.22. We'll take a break and be right back.